Greg Ruff and Gabriel McKay of the men's basketball team, a freshman out of Virginia on top of that. And one thing, one thing you will learn about Gabriel McKay is he brings energy on and off the court. The guy is, the guy is great. Already got some great pictures of him with expressions and dancing on the sideline and all that kind of stuff. Just talk about that part of your game because you're, you're a son of a coach, but that's something you really bring to the game. Right. Um, I just always try to want to, you know, be able to affect the game on the court and off the court as well. So if it's hyping up some of my teammates or making sure we have energy on the bench, then, of course, I'm going to try to do that and then try to match it, match it when I get on, you know, always at high intensity, make sure uh, I'm giving it my all, have a great – body language and good EQ, so that's usually what I try to do when I get on or when I'm off as well. Do you get that from your dad? Your dad, by the way, is the coach at Liberty, yes, sir. which yes, sir. Uh, Coach Mance worked with him, and uh, somehow Coach Mance out-recruited your dad <laughs> to get you to come here, but what type of things did you learn from your dad? Because your dad impressed me. He flew here for Omar's uh, introduction as, yeah. as coach here, yeah. and uh, that, that would impress me big time. Yeah, yes, sir. Like, he's taught me so many things, of course, and you know, Apart from the game and with the game, it's always been a learning experience for sure. There's so many things that, like, no matter what I'm doing, I feel like he's saying something in my head, you know. So it's, like, not my conscience, but he definitely affects everything. So, uh, you know, with uh, with basketball, of course, you know, I'll try to take away as much as I can from him. And, you know, uh, I've been fortunate enough to kind of grow up around a basketball team. So I've seen what's worked and what hasn't. And uh, I try to, try to take away parts from each or every single team, you know, but – you know, I'm not perfect as well, so yeah. I mess up every now and then. But, yeah, for sure, trying to always take away something from him. What Obviously, your dad was totally 100% on you coming here, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but but why Trevecca? Why Coach Mance? And why, why not play for your dad? Because you, yeah. you originally committed to play at Liberty with your yeah. dad. Um, I just felt like, you know, God wasn't calling me there. And, um, you know, it was really hard for me to do. It was one of the hardest conversations I've had with my dad. But, you know, just because of that, I felt like, I came here, took a visit, and literally just felt like God was placing it on my heart to come here. Just the the community here and the vision that is in front of this program is something that's special, and uh, I wanted to be a part of it. So, who was harder, your mom or your dad? Who, which which conversation was harder? My mom wanted me to stay just because I don't think she wanted to be an empty nester. So, yeah. <laughs> for that, it was probably my dad, bro. Just because you know he was very supportive of everything, but it was hard for me to tell him just because you know we've always had the dream of playing playing for him. Uh, so you come to Nashville. The great thing is Liberty is now in the conference with Lipscomb. Yep. They play. They got a good relationship with Vanderbilt, so yeah. they're playing. They're coming to play Vanderbilt. So you get to see them a few extra times here yeah, this year. Sure. And and I, I would imagine we might have another return trip back to Liberty at some point. I hope uh, so. To to maybe play, but but talk about that. Talk about the fact that today your dad is here in the stands with with some of the guys from Liberty, your family, and all that. Yeah, uh, it means it means so much to me just because you know having. The family support makes it feel like a home game for sure, you know, and uh, just having that, being able to see him a couple extra times makes it so much more special because I know it's such a busy schedule for all of us yeah. during the winter, so it means so much, and it's awesome for me to have him here today. All right, last last thing, we'll, we'll wrap up with this. Got to play it at Lipscomb on Sunday. Mm -hmm. You and a lot of the freshmen in particular, some of the other members of the team, got to go when Liberty played in the championship game yeah. at Lipscomb last year. Talk about how that maybe played into – your experience on Sunday and how you, how well you guys did play, in particular in the first half. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, just being being there, I've seen great things happen in that gym, and I, you know, we would kind of wanted something to happen for us too. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but I thought we played so great. You know, um, Lipscomb's a very good team, and for us to be able to fight with them for that long, and you know, it really shows what we can do. And so, uh, I'm excited, looking forward for this team in this future. So, super excited. He's Gabriel McKay. I'm Greg Ruff. We're back with more Trevecca basketball right after this.